isolated. The crossbowmen and siege engines had surrounded the castle for two months, battering the nobles day and night. There were less than 100 men left alive in the keep. They were desperate, but holding out for reinforcements from France. Out here, King John was devising his worst trick yet. Fearing the imminent arrival of the French, he'd given up all plans of going over the walls or through them. The trebuchets had made very little progress and the battle was getting desperate, but he had an ingenious plan. The only way in was under, but how? His plan was to dig. John employed a crack team of miners to burrow under the corner of the southeast tower of the keep. To distract the barons and buy the miners time to dig, John ordered his army to keep fighting. Volleys of ammunition from archers and missiles from trebuchets kept on battering the barons. While all this was going on, John started on plan B. B for bacon. Now, he wasn't going to tempt them out with a nice sarnie. He was going to use pigs. Lots of them. This is where John's twisted genius comes in. Pig power. While the miners dug down, he issued one of the strangest royal proclamations ever. King John sent out a decree stating he should be sent with utmost speed 40 of the fattest pigs of the sort least good for eating. That was unlike John, he was normally up for a good banquet, but he was up to something and it wasn't a party. King John was planning a fire, but not just any old fire. He needed a substance which was highly combustible. And in these days before gunpowder, he decided to use pig fat. Tons of it. His plan was to stuff the mine with pig fat, set fire to it so it'd burn up, crack the foundations, and bring the castle walls tumbling down. But would it work? The man who knows about pigs and fat is slaughterman John Andrews. Now, first of all, these are very much 21st century pigs, aren't they? Yeah. Different, how, how different are these two? It's a different pig altogether. This pig here has got longer length in the most expensive part, ah, right. the loin. Yeah. So it'll be a longer pig, a leaner pig. You haven't got the bulkier fat round here or round here. So basically, John, you're saying is that medieval pig would have been stockier, much bulkier, much fatter. Yeah. Now, King John was using this pig fat for burning. Would that make sense to you? Yeah. Once you render the fat, you would make an oil. Yeah and then, which would give you something that would combust. You burn at a really high temperature. Burn high, any oil burns at a high temperature. Once liquefied, pig fat burns at 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, where do you get the fat from on these pigs? A popular fat is the flea fat. I mean, 100 years ago, they made flea cakes, yeah. and it's still a quite a delicacy now for certain wow. people. That would be a fat that was easily obtainable that okay. you could strip out. Now, we know that King John used 40 pigs. So, I mean, 40 big fat pigs, that's going to produce a hell of a lot of fat, isn't it? I should imagine now you probably want two to 300 pigs in this day. And really? For the equivalent yeah, of that? That's fascinating, yeah. Getting us a couple of chops while we're here. <laughs> we'll do some sausages. <laughs> so John, King John that is, not Butcher John, got 40 fat pigs, stripped down the fat and stuffed it into the mine. Under the rules of medieval warfare, he should have given the barons a final chance to surrender. But he didn't bother with that. Right, here goes. It's November, 12.15. Yeah, this is Rochester Castle. This is a bucket of pig fat. <laughs> this is just one bucket. He had 40 pigs worth. Right, let's go and get it lit. The pig fat under the castle swiftly became a roaring inferno. The wooden pit prop supporting the keep collapsed. As the heat intensified to 1,000 degrees, the thick stone foundations blackened and finally began to crack. And what's more, to the starving barons, the smell of bacon must have driven them mad. The entire southeast tower collapsed. A quarter of the keep was destroyed. Pig power rules. <laughs> 